Arsenal away, get in, Fab 4 all starting, let's fucking do this. Buzz it. So it's half time, the Reds have 1 0 up, but I'm furious that it's only 1 0. Uh, Coutinho with the goal, the header, but it so should have been more. Mane with a waste of chance, Salah with a waste of chance. Really should be more than 1 0, but I'm really hoping we can close this out. We've been so good first half, Arsenal are fucking terrible. Let's see how it goes second half. You cocky cunt! Fuck off! So walking out of the Emirates with one point in our bag uh, feels like a defeat, to be honest with you. Um, two nil up. 3-2 down within 10 minutes, Mignolet was a disgrace. Uh, I like the guy, he makes a lot of good saves for us, he's an important player for us, but the Xhaka goal is unforgivable, and to be honest with you, the Urzo goal was pretty unforgivable too. We dominated the game, we come out of there disappointed with just a point. Sums us up really, we're, we're, we're good enough to beat these teams away from home, but we just don't have what it takes to see them out sometimes. Um, typical, sim same old story, frustrating. So just want to sum up my thoughts. Um, yeah, the morning after, the night before. Apologise for, I guess, probably quite a short day trip. I've not watched it all back yet. Um, but I mean, there wasn't much of a journey. Like the the Emirates is literally ten minutes on the train from my work. Um, so it was very much a stroll over, get myself in the ground, have a drink, and watch the game, and come back. Um, didn't film the night out either, but or sort of anything after that because I went straight back to the office. And, and sort of had a few drinks with my work colleagues, didn't want to film my work colleagues. Um, but yeah, so I, I've, I kind of watched the highlights back, um, sort of refresh my memory on what happened. And, it, you know, I, I guess it kind of confirmed sort of my, my initial reaction, which obviously the, the, the goalkeeper was at fault, um, which I guess you know, we all knew. I stand by the fact that I thought the referee was dreadful. It, no, no, no big decisions that didn't go our way or anything. But I just thought for for 90 minutes he was such a job's worth. We, he just wasn't giving us anything. It was so so frustrating. Um, but more importantly, yeah, the the, the goalkeeper. Um, this feels like one of those games which could sort of turn the manager. Uh, not that he's a manager that gets turned by one performance necessarily. But this, uh, it's not the first time Mignolet's done something daft. I mean, as I said last night, I, I like him. It, in certain instances, he's. He, but this isn't even about being a good shot stopper. That this save, it's just, it's just keeping your cool. It's keeping your head. It's, it's catching the ball that's right at you. Uh, when you just, when your opponent's playing it back to two one, you got to keep your head. You, you got to be saving that right down the middle of the goal. It's not. It's not something I should have to say. It's. He'll know it as well. Um, yes, the ball might have moved a bit, but I mean. It's a straightforward save. I don't think he does himself much favours on the third goal, to be honest with you. I think he falls down to his right and makes it very easy for Ozil, uh, which is, again, just kind of stops us winning the game, I guess. And look, Joe Gomez is at fault for the first, there's no denying that. He switches off at the back post and allows Sanchez to get Arsenal back in it. And if, if he stays awake there, we could probably go on to win the game 3 or 4 0. Um, Gomez, the youngster, makes a mistake. Not for the first time in his career, not for the last. It's he's a 20-year-old, you know, young lad, centre back playing right back. All, all, you know, all, all the cliches. He's going to make mistakes. It's not the first mistake he's made. Um, the one that sticks out to me is the one when he gives away the penalty at Old Trafford um, in 2015, 
uh, you know, he's going to make all the mistakes that defenders are going to make. Uh, but for me, I still think he is in great form. I think he's a great player. I think he's really cemented himself in the first team. I want to see him continue in that vein. I thought the centre-backs were phenomenal. I thought Lovren and Clavin, I think they're in good form, both of them. Um, very impressed with both of them. Uh, the midfield was OK. I thought we dealt with Henderson going off pretty well. I thought Milner came in and did a great job for the most part. Uh, Sadio Mane, bang out of form. Unfortunately, uh, again, his decision making wasn't right today, uh, last night, um, which did cost us in front of goal. Some really poor touches. Um, Salah misses a couple of chances but manages to score. You know, uh, Firmino, Salah, and Coutinho are still all excellent. I think they'll, they'll feel aggrieved that, that they've been let down by, by the guys behind them again. Um, we scored three away at Arsenal and failed to win. Uh, it reminds me of a couple of. I think, 2013, went there, went 2-0 up and then had a sort of a mad five minutes, they put, put it back to 2-2. Uh, this time it went to 3-2 and we, we showed character to get it back to 3-0. And is it a good point? It is what it is. Um, I'm not happy with it, it I came out feeling like a defeat. Um, but it's a point away at Arsenal, it keeps us in fourth, we're going to be fourth at Christmas. It's not where I wanted to be but it's, it, it's a start and it's... It's okay considering sort of the bad run we had in September and October. Um, I'm going to carry on my thoughts when I get back into the flat because I'm just about to enter. I was lying when I said I was going to run up in the flat. I completely, I fell straight asleep. Um, sleep for the last four hours. It's now two o'clock in the afternoon and I'm about to trek across London to Paddington to get the train to Devon for Christmas. So that's going to be exciting. Um, so yeah, I mean, look, I, I guess I've summed it up already. Uh, disappointed, <laughs> having slept on it now as well. Uh, again, disappointed. But it's probably going to turn out to be a good point if we end up beating Swan, uh, Swansea and Leicester at home, and you know, Burnley away is a winnable one as well. So I'm going to be going to Leicester, so it'll be a day trip from that. There's the, the boss night after that as well, which there was against United at home in that vlog. So uh, I'm really excited to go to that. And then we're going to go to Preston the next day for a night out uh, on New Year's Eve. And then it's... Um, and it's burned me away on New Year's Day, which I don't have a ticket for yet, but you know, cross that bridge when I get to it. Anyway, uh, have a wonderful Christmas. Uh, I'm sure I'll be back with some sort of um, Swansea preview in the meantime. What, what sort of environment I do it in, I've got no idea. Um, but look, subscribe if you're new, please. Hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, follow my other socials, as Ben might say, on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. And I'll see you next time. Merry Christmas, all.